Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another 213 Crispy show here on YouTube. Today we are going to be playing some spin tires, and this particular map is called Crossing. So we went ahead and loaded up our vehicles. Um, we got a map to expose, so we got to drive around, hit a bunch of waypoints to unlock a bunch of stuff. So that's the first thing that we are going to do first. Um, I am also streaming this video on Twitch TV. It is Tuesday morning at about 8:20 a.m. So I'll be I'll be here for about I don't know maybe an hour. And uh, what we'll do is I think I'm going to break this down into a couple segments. So this is going to be part one. And I think I'm going to do this in three parts. So part one is going to be just unlocking the map and getting you all the extra waypoints unlocked. And then part two will be delivering lumber to one of the mills. And then part three will be delivering lumber to the third part. So break this into a three-part series, I believe. I think that's the game plan. So without further ado, uh, let's go ahead and hop in our Jeep. And we are going to head to this waypoint over here. And to do that, looks like we're going to head uh, probably that way. So we're going to go and swap trucks. We're going to get in this guy. And let's get our trunk added on. Turn the parking brakes off, and let's get out of here. Wow. Can't even get out of to the spawn. Uh, uh. This is going to be an interesting map. We'll just go this way. Come on. stuck. I think I'm stuck on a tree. Yeah, I am. It's this tree that's giving me fits. I'm gonna go that way. Come on, tree. I need to go left.
and your lumber mill. Trying to stay out of this mud as much as possible. The Jeep goes better through the trees. As long as you can navigate through these trees without much of an issue. It's usually not much of a problem. I think this is the waypoint? Nope, fill station. But since we're here, we'll go ahead and stop, top it off, get on up out of here. The risk of going through the trees and up the mud is the damage to your vehicle, which is why I got the cargo package for the Jeep instead of the spare tire because it has more repair points but also it carries fuel so that way if I do run out of fuel while I'm trying to unlock everything I have that option so this should be coming up okay what did I hit that gave me 95 points Apparently a big rock. Oh. I'm too busy looking around and not paying attention to where I'm driving. Well, it looks like we might have a big problem in front of me. I think this is a lake, not a creek. No, it's a creek, because right there's my, right there's the flag. And it's right in the middle of this little pond, too. Well. Good news is, I don't think you have to go too far in the water to get to it. So that's what we're gonna do is 
is uh is stay on the edge because I can get it I think right here on the edge of the water. One zone unlocked. I don't even know where to cross at this point, so we are going to head due north. And I think I'm gonna cross. I'm gonna cross there. Sometimes first person view is a little easier, especially driving through trees than third person. Third person's nice because you can see uh, direction a little bit better. Like, I don't have a compass. Well, I mean, I do. It's in the bottom left corner, but it's in a terrible spot. I don't think I can make it through here, but I'm gonna try. And that's really my downside to first person is the gauges aren't really the best, so just location of things is pretty bad and you really can't see too far ahead of you going through trees this way where third person you can kind of see a little bit farther forward so it has its trade-offs I think if you're in first person you have a better chance of not damaging your vehicle because you can see like right up in front of you like you notice how I ran into a couple trees in third person that's one of those things where I would have seen that in first person, so I probably would have done some major damage jumping off that ledge. expect this little vehicle to cross this big lake, or river I should say. I got a bad feeling about this. I don't even think I'm going to make it to the river. Well, wish me luck, guys, because we're gonna about to attempt to cross this thing. If it's not deep, I'll be okay, but... That's the problem. 
I, I don't know how deep this is or how not deep it is. And I've already found one ginormous hole. My bet is it's like this all the way across. Well, I'm gonna keep on chucking. We're gonna hope we can get across this thing. Yeah, this is not good. I don't even think I'm going anywhere. Besides taking on damage. Yeah, I'm floating down over. <laughs> oh, this is bad. So, we're gonna get this thing back on the edge. And let's go down upriver. See if we can't find a better spot to cross. I think it's just a limitation of this little vehicle and this big body of water, because I mean I there's only so much you can do. And I don't think I'm gonna be able to do too much with this thing. We're gonna try though. So I'm gonna go down this bank. See if I can't find something maybe a little bit better to get across. Oh, come on. <laughs> like, here's a crossing. I don't know if it's any better. But judging by the ground from what I see, it looks about as bad. And I don't, there's got to be a way to get across this. It almost looks like I can go up this way. Yeah, no, that's not it any better. No. Man, this is brutal. Which way do I want to go? I don't even know at this point. I think here's another crossing. No, oh, I thought there was. Hmm. Here's another crossing. We'll try this one since we're here, but it looks awful deep. Well, I'm going to attempt this one. Getting a little deeper, starting to slide. 
getting even deeper. And there we go. Well, we made it to the island. That's half the battle. Now we gotta see if we can get across this big part of the water. And no, my luck, I'm not gonna make it. But I'm gonna give her hell. So let's uh, stop. Let's go ahead and. Let's go ahead and repair up our truck. That way we know it's in tip top shape for us to turn around and take a bunch of damage. And we are going to go for it. No, my luck, it's going to drop straight off into dangerous water levels. Yep. I'm not letting up. I'm committed. Come on. Yeah, we're sliding. 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 Okay. I have my steering wheel turned right. The current is so bad that it's just dragging me left. So, let's see if I can't drag myself back out of water. I don't even think it's passable with this. Oh, man, this is brutal. Okay, let's cross the water back and we'll keep searching for some more water. Well, now that it's getting dark, we might be just switching vehicles. Come on, truck. God, look at this current. I wonder if it does any better in four drive low. You know what? Let's try that again. Because I was an auto. I just need to know which direction I need to go. So that's where I need to go, so I'm going to start by heading this way. Yeah, I'm getting nowhere in a hurry. Nowhere. Oh, don't roll it. Don't roll it. Oh, that's not good. Come on. Parking brake, that's why. Or not. This is a bad spot. Stop. We'll use the last 34 points to repair. Yeah, I'm not happy about this. But I also don't have much of an option. So I'm just going to keep exploring. We'll find our path across this river one way or another. If I got to go and get a bigger truck, no. I don't know if I have much of an option. Because I think all the other vehicles are on the other side of the map. not good.
Come on, Jeep. This is another crossing, but it's too dark for me to even see where I'm going, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be deep. Yeah. There's a ginormous hole there, and I roll it. I understand it's solved. That truck's gonna float down river. Now I'm really up a creek. Oh, wait a minute, what's this? I don't even know if I can get to that easily. We're gonna try. I'm gonna try going this way. Um, I think we're gonna do utility attachment. didn't know that this was here. Okay, well, I think we found our vehicle to actually do most of our work for us. Which is this big hunker. Yeah. Uh, let's figure out what we want to do with this guy. Um... We probably need to work on getting a garage unlocked. So, if I go back over here... Let's go back the same way we just came. And get this guy loaded up. wrong and I went the wrong way oh well I'll go the long way man this thing is a fuel hog three damage by running over a small rock. Okay. So let's get ourselves a I do what I want to do. That's only two garage points, and that's only two garage points. Okay, so if I... Okay, I got this now. So if I uninstall this, then I can do that with the trailer. Okay. Okay. 
You wanna play? Well, come here. Come here. Let's play! Ah. Okay. Let's do ourselves a garage trailer. So now we got a trailer in that, which gives us four points. We need to... We need to make it our way to the fuel station first. on the road. No, we gotta go this way. Keep it on the road. Drive! This way. This way. This way. down a little bit. There we go. Are you done playing? your puppy pals. This thing is huge. Huge is an understatement. Where am I going? That's my next question. So I need to go right. I need to go north. <clears throat> Oh, 
tree. I think I'm going to run out of fuel before you can get close to the fuel station. If I, whoever's watching, uh, I would assume it's probably Big Nut or Jeff. I don't know. Anyway, whoever's watching, if I unload this trailer and make a run to get fuel. Can I come back and reattach to it? Or do I lose it completely? Because I don't really know. And I'm pretty positive I'm going to have to unload this thing because I'm going to need four-wheel drive to get across this river. And I don't think I'm going to have enough fuel to get to the fuel station. I might, but I think it's going to be a squeeze. Make a run for it. We'll see what happens. I'm going to try doing this in two wheel drive to try to save fuel. I don't think it's going to work, but we're going to attempt it. Something tells me that track, this trailer is just going to. Really? Yeah, I didn't think so. There goes my fuel efficiency. Come on, truck. Come on. Come on. Okay. Two will drive. I can winch it from here if I have to. I want to yank out some trees. fuel station. So I'm going to drive down this road, nice and easy, try to save fuel. Oh, did I pass it up? somewhere right over here. I'm hoping it's right here. Yeah, it is. Hey, Hurricane45, how's it going? You see I unlocked the big boy. Yeah, this thing's no joke. How's your morning or evening going, wherever you're from? I would assume it's morning. Fill her up! I'll take that 600 liters of fuel. Now I need to unlock a garage. So my question is, which garage do I want to unlock? Log kiosk, log, log. 
Watch point. Lumber mill. Wait a minute, is there a lumber mill there? Okay. It's probably best I unlock. I think in this one. Oh, uh, let's go for the long one. This map is uh, a pain in the butt, might I add. I tried crossing that river with the jeep. And needless to say, I rolled it, like, four times. It happens. Trailer really stuck. Wow. Oh, come on. What you started doing to mods? What kind of mods? Oh, really? So this guy's got... Oh. Whatever. Wait a minute, is that right? Yeah, four garage points. Oh well. I don't think you can do this map without this vehicle, honestly. I don't think there's any other vehicle that can get across the water. Like this one. Maybe I'm wrong, but I'm pretty positive that this is the only vehicle for this map. I've never played. I've never played it in the old ones, so I don't. Is that a is that a mod from the first game that you just basically threw into this game? Uh, this one was an easy unlock. Uh, and since you're here, Hurricane, I'll ask you this question. If I get, for example, this semi-trailer that's fuel, and if I go and get this fueled up, can I unload this on, like, a road somewhere and still have access to it? Or do I have to leave it hooked up 
because I I know I'm gonna need fuel. I just don't know if I can unload. You know what? Let's just go back and get that other truck. But I could use that truck to unlock that garage. I don't really need that garage though. Yeah, I don't. Let's just use this truck. Man, this trailer's gonna be terrible to turn around. too far. <laughs> yeah, let's go back this way. I, yeah, I, I wasn't for sure. I never played the old one, or I would have attempted it, because I didn't think I was going to make it across that river with the fuel, so I was going to dump that trailer that I had, because I, I intentionally loaded four, four garage points on that truck, so I could get this garage unlocked and I didn't see that this vehicle had this on here with the four points already on it so I guess that just was not me paying enough attention to the map and I, it, it happens so did I pass it? Yeah, like, I, there's no way. Like, this thing isn't even four-wheel drive. Really? This thing's gonna get stuck. Okay, unlock. I don't want this. So uninstall it. Give me... Give me the fuel. Let's get out of here. That tra this trailer is just bouncing this little truck all over the place. Better open. <laughs> all I know is this truck hauls butt. <laughs> I'm gonna wreck it. <laughs> uh, I totally went the wrong way. Oh well. Let's uh, let's see where this goes. Well, really, I can unlock this waypoint with this truck right here. Something tells me I'm gonna get stuck. truck that could. Oh, it's bad. 
bad move. At least it's short enough. There's the other garage. I don't really need it. So now let's go get refuel this thing up. Wow, this thing has nine gears. I mean, I guess this is a full-blown semi. Oh, that's not good. Keep it on the road. Turn. I passed the fuel station again. Why does the fuel station always have to be muddy? Just like the garages. Why do the garages always have to be muddy? I don't think this little truck's gonna get in here. There's no way I'm going to get out of this. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to get out of this. Well, maybe the weight will give me traction. I don't know. Because I need to go that way. Come on, camera. want that. Okay. Time to jackknife this trailer. Just I think I can get out of here. See what I think I can. I think I can. I think I can. Uh, I think I'm stuck. Turn. 
Okay. Now we have a f mobile fuel station. Let's go ahead and we'll park this somewhere over here out of the way. Well, there's a watch point in front of me, so let's go this way. Maybe I can get it with this truck, too. I doubt I'll get that lucky, but we'll, we'll find out. I'm gonna attempt it. Maybe I can use momentum in my favor. I don't know how I'm gonna get out of here, but I think I'm gonna go right here. Oh, come on! <laughs> that little log ain't gonna hold me. Come on! We got a problem. Yeah. Oh well. Okay, so we got that waypoint open. I'm not even going to worry about that waypoint. We need to unlock these two waypoints, and I'm going to call this video done. So, for the time being, let's go ahead and do that waypoint and this waypoint, and we'll be done. So, I need to go. Is that north? Yeah, I need to go north. through these trees, head north, head north, should be somewhere right here. I see it over there, I just can't get to it.
Okay, looks like we finally get the map unlocked. Uh, I'm not going to worry about this final watch point that's up on the north side of this map because it's un irrelevant to what we're going to need for this map. Um, we got both lumber mills opened up so we can see where they're at. Most of the log kiosks are open, so it makes our life a little bit easier. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to wrap this video up. Like I told you, this is going to be a three-part video that's going to be on YouTube. First one is unlocking the map. The second one's going to be delivering logs to one lumber mill. And the third and final video will be the delivering logs to the far southern log mill. So uh, make sure you hit me up on 213 Crispy on YouTube. Uh, I'm on Twitch. I'm on Twitter. I'm on Discord. All the usual stuff like everybody else. For now, we will uh, go and wrap this video up. And thank you guys for watching and have a great day.